So that wasn't focused? This Too bad, because that was so good. Uh, oh. <sighs> hey guys, welcome back to the 25 days of Christmas. Today is day 11. And boy, do I have an amazing video for you. In fact, I've been so excited about it, I could hardly sleep last night. This video is gonna be about how to set the table for the holidays. I have three different styles for you, and each one of them is beautiful and different in its own right. I'm gonna show you how to put together the most amazing and gorgeous, beautiful Christmas table. Your guests will be talking about it for years to come. This is table number one. absolutely love this particular tablescape. Here's why. It's glamorous, it's woodsy, and it's vintage. We have these amazing gifts on each person's plate. Even where I did my fresh flowers, I actually put clear Christmas balls in there. Some of them are iridescent. I took the tops off, submerged them in the water, and let the water go in so they'll sink to the bottom, just giving some reflective quality. Then I have these antler candle holders, and the candles have the bark around them. Now those candles are the battery operated. Don't they look real? Perhaps one of my favorite things of all, these amazing orb ornaments that I found at Canterbury Gardens. To me, it just kind of pulls this whole thing in. It makes it out of this world. I love it. What anchors this entire table setting are these really cute homemade placemats. And we have made a DIY video that's gonna be on Shara's channel, How to Live Your Style. Also, uh, I think it's really cool to note that we made poppers. We have a video for you that you guys are gonna to get to see on exactly how to make your own homemade popper. This is what they use in the UK, right? And what on this table is vintage? Well, I can tell you right now, these silverware pieces that my mother gave to me I grew up with it. I think it's so fabulous. It's in the rose gold and wood, very in today. The last thing is I've got these amazing star lights that wrap through the whole thing and give it so much glamour. And by the way, I just ran the cord down between the leaves and my table so I could get some power to it. So you don't even see where the cord goes off. That's pretty cool. This table setting makes me smell ham baking. This red and green and gold and silver is such a beautiful table setting for a very traditional Christmas design. I have used two placemats. And the reason I do that is I find that with all of my silverware and my glasses, all these different things, it kind of takes more space than a regular placemat will give you. Make sure you watch to the end of this video because I'm gonna give you a very quick lesson on how to remember what side of the plate the fork, knife, and spoon goes on. What I did here in the center is I just used a ready-made garland that already had these beautiful magnolia leaves and the pine cones, and then I stuck some Christmas ornaments in it, and of course my starry lights, and then added some candles. Another thing I like about this place setting is I have a charger underneath, which gives me the fabulous like emerald green color. Then I have my china on top of that, a salad plate on top of that, and then on each person's place setting, each one has its own little candle. And what I do when we sit down, I ask everyone to pick up their candle and put it to the top left of their place setting. And then what you're gonna see here is we made some adorable silverware holders, and Shara will have a DIY video on that to show you exactly how to make those things. Plaid is trending this year in the traditional Christmas color scheme. Uh, some years it's popular, some it's not, but it's back this year. That's kind of cool. And number three, this is my Hanukkah table. Now, full disclosure, I am not Jewish. I'm doing my best to make this authentic for you guys, and I apologize if it's not 100%, but it is really pretty. Look, just a side note, these blue dishes here, you know what these are from? 
my wedding. Yes. And I found these at a vintage store, Cobalt Little Sherbet Cups. The Star of David, right? Ta-da! I love how this Hanukkah table turned out. The gold glitz and the blue cobalt and the white and the silver. This pairing of the three clear glasses for wine, white, red, and a beautiful water glass. Also including a butter plate, a butter knife, and a, a coffee spoon. You don't usually have that in a regular uh, table setting, but when you're gonna do something really special for the holidays, I felt like this would be really cool. Even if you're not Jewish and you don't want to make this a Hanukkah table, still doing cobalt blue and gold and silver can be absolutely breathtaking. I hope that you have enjoyed this series today on how to do table settings. Tell me what you think. Which one is your favorite? Number one, two, or three? I would love to hear from you. We have the poppers video coming out soon. This is the one I made for this table, and well, then there's this. I guess you're just gonna have to watch to see what I'm talking about. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please feel free to do it just right here, right now. Just push the subscribe button. And we have another channel called How to Live Your Style, and that's where Shara is doing the other half of the 25 Days of Christmas videos. So you've gotta be subscribed to that channel too. We wanna wish you a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, and happy whatever else you may be celebrating. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Here's some design gold for you. When you're setting a proper table, you need to know where to put things. You've got a spoon, a fork, and a knife, and a glass. Here's how you do it. If you can spell and you can count, you can set the proper table. Left has four letters in it and the word right has five letters in it. Let's look at these. Water has five, fork has four, spoon has five, and knife has five. Well, that right there tells you exactly where everything goes. Your fork goes on your left, your knife goes on the right, your spoon goes on the right, and your water glass goes on the right. That is how you create a perfect table setting.